we are conducting like uh, two experiment. One experiment uh, is the only the GEM3 head, which is here, without the side terra portion uh, on top of that. So what we're going to do now is looking at the traces of all frequencies, and we're going to put a target, a small target over the at that distance of like 15 centimeters above the sensor. And these are the traces that you can see the pin. It's quite a big target for, for our system. Now we're going to change the target to a ferrite, a cross of ferrite rods, carbon rods, or carbon rods from uh, Caesar, uh, Caesar's batteries. And we look at the trace and we can see the target uh, the, on the traces. Take that, take that out. And obviously that's going back to, to zero. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the Cytera passive uh, sensor and we're going to mount it uh, on top of our sensor. The same way that we possible will be in the future. Okay, keeping this basically the same distance from our sensor. And, and we're going to renal to basically to null out the target which the is there, of the, the effect of the of the sensor, as you can see over here, that the the signal is not completely from our sensor, and we're going to put on top of that the same small big target, what we're calling it. It's a pin above it, and if you look at the traces, basically the same amount of uh, signal you can see from this one as well. We take it out and just give it. Take it out a second. Man. Take it out. Let it go back to zero, or whatever is that. Okay, hold a second. Now put it back in. Basically the same jump, like, like we had before, without the Cytera. So uh, definitely this type of arrangement, like we got here, <coughs> with a sensor passive at the moment, I think we can uh, work together.